Welcome to Groundwork 101. In this first video, I'm going to cover the four essential movements that I consider important for all your basic groundwork. The first essential movement we're going to talk about is backing from the end of the lead rope and also leading forward. You'll see that this horse is really light backing up and a little sticky coming forward. So <clears throat> I'm just going to let him kind of hit the end of the lead rope and then when he comes forward the pressure goes away. And when I stop he should stop. Then I'm just going to softly shake my rope to back him up, lead him forward. That time he came with no pressure on the lead rope. If I had to do more I sure could. If I had to get a little wilder in the backing with the lead rope or use the flag to help him come forward, I could do that. And we're gonna work some more on that later on in another video. I'm gonna show that one more time because it's short and it's really important because you're gonna use the backing and the leading forward softly quite a bit um, in the groundwork and also just every day walking to and from the pasture or to the arena or wherever you're going with your horse. So we'll just look at it again. I'll softly shake my rope and then I'll just softly lead him forward. Okay, now we're gonna work on the essential movements for your basic groundwork on the circle. Um, there are three things that I'm looking for to be good here. The first one is, is that he reaches to the outside onto the circle before going forward. The second thing is that he walks on a nice circle with a float in my lead rope and correct bend on the circle. And then the third thing is that he roll his hind over cleanly to face up. Okay, so let's go over those three things quite a few more times here. So he's gonna be going on a left circle, so I want his right front foot to reach over and out onto the circle, then I want him to go forward. He's on a left circle, so I'd like his body to have left bend. I wanna make sure he's not falling in on me and falling in on the circle and pushing on me or falling out on the circle and taking the slack out of my lead rope. So now let's do that again. This time he's gonna be on a right circle, so it's his left front foot that reaches over and out onto the circle, then he goes forward. Now I'm looking for right bend and softness in my circle, and then when I'm ready, I'm gonna take the lead rope up towards his flank, and I'm gonna stop my feet for him to roll his hind and face up. So here he accidentally starts to back up when I walk towards him to pet him. It's just from all the backing we've been practicing. So I just made sure to let him hit the end of the lead rope and come forward again. So now we're gonna go back to the left, right front foot reaches, then he goes forward. Then when I'm satisfied with the circle and I take the lead rope towards his flank his left hind foot is going to step over in front of his right hind foot till he's faced up. This time we're going back to the right, so I'm going to look for his left front foot to reach over and out before he goes forward on the circle. Then I'm just checking the circle is nice and soft, and then when I'm ready, the hind will roll, so the right hind leg would step over and across in front of the left hind leg. Then, of course, you can give him a pet, let him know how good he did, and then we'll start again. Front foot reaches out. He walks softly and quietly on my circle. And then when I'm ready, I'll roll the hind. This time, left hind leg will step up in front of the right hind leg until he's faced up. So it's pretty normal for most horses at the beginning, if they haven't done any of this, that when you ask them to step with that outside front foot onto the circle, that they'll want to come a little 
forward and cut through your bubble. So that's where that backing softly on the end of the lead rope will come in handy. Um, if your horse is kind of uh, in the habit of doing that or just doesn't know how to reach over and out, you can back them into the reach. So you can back a couple steps, get in time with that outside front foot and ask them to reach it to the outside just before it leaves the ground. Now, when we talk about rolling the hind to face up, if you've practiced a little bit of this, it, it probably doesn't take much of an aid at all to ask the horse to roll that hind over and face up. Just a little lift of that hand or even just stopping your forward motion will be enough to have the horse face up. But if you had to do a little more, if you had to step towards the flank um, with the lead rope heading that way and bump a little, you could for sure do that. Um, you want that hind to really step over cleanly. All these little parts right here are so essential, whether you're gonna master groundwork or not. Um, these are all things every horse should be able to do. So now we're just gonna practice backing straight for a moment. Now reach the outside front foot, go forward. And of course, I'm always working my flag because I might as well be doing two things at once. And then when that feels good, I'll just lift that lead rope and stop my feet. And you can roll that hind over and face up. Now we'll just go back for a moment and check on the leading forward and the backing up to make sure that that's still working softly. So I'll just shake the rope lightly. And then I'll just back up. Good, he made it there without taking all of the slack out of the lead rope. I'm just gonna run through these a same movements a few more times so you can take a good look. So there, left front foot reached out onto the circle, then he goes forward, that I'm just checking his circle, that he has correct bend, that he's soft and relaxed, that he's not crowding me or drifting away. Then when I'm ready, I'm just going to roll the hind, right hind leg passes in front of left hind leg until he's facing up. Now, Right front leg reaches out onto the circle. Now we're on the left circle. So I'm making sure he has left bend in his body. And when all that feels good, then I'm gonna roll the hind. Left hind leg's gonna step up in front of the right hind leg till he's faced up.
once all that feels like it's working pretty well, then usually what I'll do is just start shortening the paws in between rolling the hind and facing up and reaching the front foot in the new direction. Just a short pause, make sure he's balanced, go the other way. Because pretty soon we're gonna turn all of this into one fluid movement. So I just start by shortening that pause in between. Roll the hind, make sure he's balanced up, reach the front. So this is such a nice horse and he really tries hard. So you'll see here, I roll the hind and then he goes to take the front before I've really asked. So I'm just gonna say, hey, get back. Don't go until I ask you to. Cause although I love his willingness um, to do what I'm asking and I like that he is just trying so hard, I do want him to wait for me to ask um, I want him to really learn how to follow a feel and not just go through the movements. And because for the video, I've repeated the same thing quite a few times in a row. He was just getting a little ahead of me, which is um, such a good, honest mistake to make. I'm not upset about it at all, but I will just address it to make sure that we're establishing that he follows my feel through all of this groundwork and is it just going through the motions. Okay, this time I'll completely leave the paws out. So roll the hind, bring the front through. Then the next step would be to just start taking the hind quarters a little further. So this time when I change hands, I'm gonna take a few steps towards the hind, just a few, and then bring the front across. Eventually it'd be really easy to take that hind as far as you want it. And we're gonna go through that in another video down the road. Thank you so much for checking out the video on the four essentials to groundwork. And I look forward to sharing more with you soon.